And welcome to the beautiful fjords of New Zealand. It's a beautiful morning here this morning. We are just about 15, 20 kilometers south of Queenstown. Slept in the car last night, and Lisa is still sleeping. It got pretty cold, but it is a beautiful day today. Look at this view. Good morning. Time to leave Lisa. She won't be too excited about the but it's time to get up and go. Wake up and greet the day, let in those golden rays. The sun is up and I'm on my way. Wake up, turn on the news, and shake those Monday oh, and we're over there. Cause everything's gonna be okay. So we slept eight kilometers outside of Kingston. Um, a really cute small town that has uh, free bathrooms and really nice bathrooms at that. So Milford Sound is three and a half hours from Queenstown and it's just a one way. You're gonna come back the exact same way. Uh, but this is a must for New Zealand and it sounds like it's gonna be gorgeous. We're actually going to be going through fjords today. Cause I see daylight break Best price we've seen on gas, and so we're gonna try to fill up. It's one ninety-two a liter, so a little less than six dollars a gallon. It requires a pin, oh. so I guess I might use my. No. Use one. I'll just wait. Our American credit card is not gonna work here. So that's the crazy thing is, is most credit cards around the world require a pin, and ours does not, and so. Sometimes we just like enter random numbers and sometimes this ends up working. clear stream Peter it's so clear Wow so we're about halfway to Milford Sound and stop this beautiful Creek I mean this whole drive is amazing so many mountains um, and this water is so clear this is crazy New Zealand is definitely gorgeous these mountain drives definitely remind me a lot of Colorado this clear stream though, I don't know, you don't really see too many of these in Colorado. Normally it has some um, silt on the bottom. It looks like someone dyed it, like what you like would put in pool water to make it like nice and, and shiny. How is it that clear? So beautiful. These mountains are stunning. And the sky today, we have a nice clear day, not like yesterday. This is perfect. Forecast perfect for some moody shots. <laughs> it's like perfect skies. You're like, I'm it's okay, saying, it's nice. I'm just saying, yesterday was good for yesterday. <laughs> yeah. For Rohan, it's perfect. Yeah, yesterday was good for yesterday, and today is great for today. I know it won't be long. We literally went three minutes, and then there's another pull off, and this one's called Mirror Lakes. Mirror. So they have a really nice path here. New Zealand, they have got it going on. They're so tourist friendly. It's amazing. 
This is so nice. Look how crystal clear that is. Wow. The sky has opened up. There's coffee in my cup. Now everything starts today. That is crazy. They have put the sign upside down, but in the lake, then it says Mirror Lakes. That, that messes with your mind. Again, we just got going. How amazing that they have this like nice like viewing point. I am so impressed with New Zealand. Oh, there's a waterfall. That looks like fake water. Hello. I think that the bird that we just saw is called the Kia. And man, it wasn't shy. It hopped on the person's car and everything. And it took off in flight. So I don't know how much I actually got. Look at this cute stream. Wow, there's still some snow up there. That's a lot of snow right there, so. Yeah, look at that little waterfall streaming down. You see that? Oh yeah. In the six minute wait for the tunnel, Peter got some pictures and I made cheap peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I would say that was a successful six minutes. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Mmm. It's 1.30. I need food. Such thick bread. And thank you, Gimli, for digging this tunnel underneath this big, big mountain. <laughs> Sorry, we are slow. Like, I thought more people on a Saturday would be going towards Milford South, but more people are leaving. It's weird. Yeah. Where are you? It looks such a like, small hole. Yeah. Holding on to what I know. I never wanted to let go. So There's a free shuttle to the city. We're gonna drive to explore. Oh my goodness, they don't even know. I can't wait to see when they find out. Let me see. <laughs> she sees them. I don't know, we, I think we saw a kiwi earlier and it was colorful. Um, it's not, is that a kiwi maybe? No, I have. No, cause kiwis have really long feet. Okay, so, okay, so then it must be a different, yeah, it must be a kia then. Yeah, this is like a weird mountain pair. Yeah. yeah. There's not very many of them cause they're not very shy. All right, so that was a Kia bird. Um, so we had seen another Kia bird that was really colorful, like under these wings. I don't think I got it very good on camera, but that one was just all brown. So I wonder if it's like male and female, kind of like peacocks. Anyways, so now we're in the town of Milford Sound and we have a short little walk. And it is so nice today. Oh my goodness, gorgeous fall day. The weather couldn't be any more perfect today. It's amazing. So you are here. The deep water basin, that was where the kayaks were going off from. And then here's this, oh there's a 20 minute walk. Let's do that, to see that, lookout point, we'll do that. And then the helicopters, so there's tons of helicopters flying over the sound here. Oh, is that a cruise ship? That's where you can take the cruise to Trump. Oh. You got me feeling like I must be dreaming. Nice little pathway here. Man, New Zealand, tell you what, they are so organized. All right, so we are here right now at Milford Sound and we just drove from Queensland this way. 
But if you look, this whole thing is a national park. So they call them sounds, but really uh, they are uh, fjords. So welcome to the New Zealand fjords. because there's a heliopad slash airport right over here. So we're within the four kilometer radius. That's a do not fly zone. So. And there specifically was a no drone flying sign. We have seen dolphins in the fjords here. That's so cool. I just have my cameras and Lisa's like, okay, how about you just get two nice cameras like for the rest of your life? And I'm like, oh, maybe two like in the next five years. I know, and they're expensive. <laughs> <laughs> you can hit those goals and yet yeah, sure you can <laughs> you can get cameras I guess cameras are better than a, a sports car that you're never gonna that you're hardly gonna use <laughs> goals 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 good to have goals oh this is so gorgeous pretty icky and muddy here ew I don't want to walk any farther this too squishy there's a helicopter all right, they have this marked well. We're just gonna go do a 20 minute loop. Let's go. It's funny to see like palm trees. Like, you know, to see like palm trees are like the fjords with ice. Whoa, look at this enchanted wood. Decided to make use of the dusty car and advertise Happy Hoppy. Everyone is like everyone's advertising on their car to the dust. So I'll just put our vlog on there. So pretty. It's really just this one spot though. I feel I thought it was gonna be like more, and there is a lot more around here. I think you just have to hike to it. So I think this is the only spot really you can drive to. Is that right? Well, there's here? more Fjordlands National Park you can drive to as well. It's just it's a long ways. You got me he is the only mountain parrot and it's unique to the South Island of New Zealand and we've seen two today so that's awesome. We saw a male and a female because they were both pictured there. Look at this magical green forest. This reminds me of Ireland. I know, there's furry trees everywhere. It's so cool. <laughs> These trees are so furry. There is that one forest in Ireland that I felt like leprechauns could literally have jumped out of. And here we are in New Zealand, and I feel the same way in this forest. This is a very like magical looking forest. I love it. Oh my goodness. It's so green and the moss like covering all the trees there's so many amazing ferns Ooh, look at this the path magically splits which way should we take let's take the high path we got a brazilian Of. This is gorgeous! Ah! 
Well, that was gorgeous. It reminded me of the walk that we had done when we were in um, Kahootenai National Park um, in, ba in the Banff area. Stunning views everywhere you look. is driving again. So I think we are gonna be heading back to the camp site or close to where we were last night um, and sleeping in the car again um, and then tomorrow exploring around Queenstown and then getting out of Queenstown and getting a hotel probably tomorrow night um, just so we can get a good shower. We may actually stop. There was a place um, that we passed that had showers so we might even try to get a shower there because we're both a little gross. <laughs> This road a thousand times, but now it's different. I had a feeling deep inside that something's missing. And now I feel the winds are changing. Somewhere up here, over this ridge, like a forest or two over, is Fangorn Forest, where Marion Pippin found Treebeard. And then Saruman cut down the forest and made a bunch of orcs. Everywhere I've seen actually has no vacancy. It's crazy. All the way from Queenstown down to here. We are going to the Dead Marshes. From Lord of the Rings. It's so interesting. So there's like different piles of rocks. You have arrived. You have arrived. Where have we arrived, Siri? To walk? I want to walk through marshes. <laughs> this looks like it could be the forest. Anyways, so down here are the marshes. We're not going to walk because it's private property and there's a gate. It just looks flat. like dirt. Well, you can't tell from up here, but that's marsh. Okay. Yeah. Beyond those trees is what you're saying. Yeah, beyond the trees. And then, in before, and then in between. So you can't see it. Crazy, how do they like find it? Like, oh yeah, we need marsh. How much money they put in the economy with that movie? Oh yeah, I'm sure. We can probably find out what a workshop when we go there. Or Hobbiton. And I'm sure then now too, like, just how much it's continuing to bring. Right. Peter's so excited for this marsh that he can't yeah. see. <laughs> but you can't even see anything. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Coolest right. thing ever! The marshes! You gotta see it! Just kidding. No, you can't see anything. So, thankfully though, it's only nine minutes away uh, to the next stop, which is... River crossing, so it's when Eowyn was taking Frodo. So Frodo's like passing out or sick or something. Or no, he got stabbed, so he's wounded. Frodo on her, her horse and is running away from these ring wraiths and gets to the river, crosses it, and then it talks to the river, and the river becomes these horses that flood over the ring race. So that's where we're going next. Oh, hang on, big boy standing up. Holy cow. He's huge. So here is the point, right there. It was right there. Peter asked if it looked familiar. I'm like, no, but this apparently is where it was. According to uh, some guy that did lots of research and put pins on Google map. This could have been it, maybe. This looks like it. That was churning and stuff there too. Who knows? This is the river. <laughs> Somewhere around here there was a crossing. It's crazy how they can just create movie magic though, isn't it? Oh man, we found marshes. So these are right across the street from the ones that were filmed. So just pretend these are the same ones. Mm. Ooh, I think I see a lemon. 
this point a little bit more popular. This is Rainbow Reach area. All right, we're gonna go for a quick hike down here to the Rainbow Reach. So, Peter, we don't have enough time to hike to Rainbow Reach. It's six kilometers. Whoa! Ten people, is that what I said? Yeah. Max ten people on this. Holy cow, this is shaking. A lot. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't imagine if there were ten people on this. Alright, I'm good. <laughs> yeah! Ready? Yeah, just gonna get a little video that way. A little bridge. Video this way. Alright, I'm getting off the wobbly bridge. During their winter months, May to October, this is an avalanche prone area. Oh, it's not the last point. I thought this was the last point for the day. We have about 30 minutes of sunshine left. <laughs> nice thing about New Zealand um, is that unlike Australia and other places, <laughs> there are no like poisonous like snakes, bears, <laughs> Things like that. Super nice. There are some deer. You know, you don't want to hit that with your car. There are mosquitoes, but so nice. There aren't really a lot of uh, pests in New Zealand. It's nice hiking through these woods and not being like, oh, there's a poisonous snake. Because Australia has that. And spiders, too. River where they did many crossings. Aren't you cold in your short sleeves? Whew. This ground is so spongy. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very spongy. It's like an acorn forest. It just swallow you up. I, roots ah, tree beer. Right? Oh man. That was crazy. It's like a hole there. I feel like a trampoline. Like it's so weird. Wow, what a view. Good last point of the day. Gorgeous. And stay tuned tomorrow for some more Lord of the Rings sight and just gorgeous New Zealand. Just kidding, I thought I was done for the day, but of course there's always more to see. So have you subscribed yet? Just go ahead and subscribe. Do that while we are checking out this lake. Say that again. I was going to come around you. You ruined the shot. You ruined the shot. <laughs> no, not your butt. Ooh, B. Get away, B. Oh, it lands on my hand. Get away, B. Oh, lovely. Black cow, why'd you have to poop for the camera? And it's runny. Say to Peter that I feel like New Zealand is a little bit like Colorado. Go subscribe!